I'm in a bit of trouble, I hear. Why? Over the helium. Oh, are you? Yeah. Listen, I did say don't do it because it's dangerous, but it sounds like people ring it up. Anyway, for those people who did ring up, thank you very much indeed. But I did say it is dangerous, don't do it. I'm sorry that you're deaf. Now, we have got here... <laughs> <laughs> we have got here some... Well, what are you supposed to say to these people, honestly? I mean, you know, we're trying to do a TV You're program. supposed to apologise gracefully and fall about laughing after the show. Sorry, put the apology up in CFAX subtitles. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> This is Adrian Clayton from Berry Stebbins. He works in Berry Stebbins. He lives in Stowe Market in Suffolk. He doesn't like riding motorbikes. He's going to hate it even more after this. Off you go, Adrian. Up the wire, please. He's on the high wire. If you're set, you're all right. Off you go. He's on a, a tense steel wire, which goes from about six feet off the ground. He's just trying to find a gear on the motorbike. Ah, he won't go in gear. He's got it. He's got it. Good man. Roars up that wire. He's not hanging. Charges up Cardington Aerodrome. Up inside this hangar, he's now up to 80 feet off the ground. 80 feet is the height he's off the ground, and he's being watched here tonight by his wife, Olwyn, who is standing beside me at this moment, waiting for him to do one part of this stunt. We did something like this last year on the Late Late Breakfast Show. Okay, Brady. Is this is this a pleasant thing to do to your husband? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Are you? Look what he's doing now! He's turning the motorbike over on its side and upside down. Ah! Must make you proud, though. Very proud. And worried. Yes. So he's given us three or four of those, but there's more to come. We didn't last year when we did this done a big round of applause there for the crowd in Cardiff to make it. We didn't take it as far. As we could have done last year, we were going to make him do it tonight. He's coming down to Earth, and in the next few minutes, he's going to climb that tower by foot. Oop, he's going to about to run into the back of me here. And he's going to go right to the top of the tower and ride a motorbike around the top of that tower. Join us in a few minutes. Much indeed, I'm in trouble now, because uh, I've been complaining about people ringing up and complaining. Now they're ringing up and complaining about me, complaining about them complaining. Don't <laughs> worry, we're giving a percentage of the calls to charity. <laughs> yeah, I think we do. Listen, behind me, you can see up there, 87 feet up, see that little steel cage at the top of the tower? That contains Adrian Clayton, our whirly wheeler of this week. In fact, the last whirly wheeler before Christmas Day. And he's getting ready to ride a motorbike round inside that cage. Now, I can talk to him with a loud hailer that I've got here. Adrian, Adrian, how are you doing? You all right? OK, in your own time. OK. Go on. Good man, put a thumbs up there. And off he goes. That's a 50cc motorbike he's got inside there. Gets the revs up to get it moving round inside there. And I've got to tell you, there are some of the stunts that we do on this show that I would have a go at. There is no way would I go inside this. 87 feet, 90 feet off the ground. And do what he is doing now. Look, his stomach is turning over and over and over and over. I'm still here. I was oh. just uh, thinking that was rather impressive, actually. It's pretty good. Uh, would you have done that? No, I think I saw his lunch go past at one point. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I have a word with him, see how he is? We can, we can see it again. Uh, if, he, if he's able to see him, <laughs> is he able to see a monitor? Has he oh. got good eyesight? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I didn't send him up there with a pair of binoculars, but um, let's have a look at it anyway. Once again, Adrian Clayton having a go at riding this motorbike round and round inside there. Really, dicing with carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of a useful application for it. Uh, no, I can't think of anything right at this moment. I must be honest, Mike, I'm sitting here all by myself. The entire studio audience has gone home to phone in and complain about this show. <laughs> <laughs> you know the way they've got hands?
hamsters going around inside wheels and they say you should, you know, wire them up to uh, <laughs> the power so you could, <laughs> you could actually generate electricity with them. You could do that with him, couldn't yes. you? Yeah. Yes, fine. That's another one to get the phones ringing tonight. Yeah. Do well. <laughs> I was thinking that, yes. Shall I can have a quick word with him. Well, you want. I think it is always nice that we know people are all right yeah. after we've done terrible things to them. Let me just try this wonderful piece of technology strapped to my left hip here. Yeah. Called a portable PA. Hello, Adrian. <laughs> Hello, Mike. How was that? It was okay. <laughs> <laughs> I could have gone a bit faster, I think. Uh, don't don't <laughs> worry about that. Would you would you uh, would you be able to do it again? Do you think? Uh, call me up next year. <laughs> <laughs> Now, listen, motorbike riding, you, to you told me before, this has to be the most bizarre interview I've ever done. Go on, get on with it. Now, I'm, I'm going to... You, you take it away from here. Listen, <laughs> I'll see you Christmas Day. We've got a load of loonies for Christmas morning, so uh, I'll, I'll join you then Christmas morning, 5 to 12. I'll Are you looking forward one. to it? I'm really looking forward to it. We did it last year, yeah. and Christmas morning is wonderful. You work with BBC cameramen on Christmas morning, and they're just really good, because you can just do all that sort of thing to them. <laughs> And you well, can really muck them about because they don't care. Thanks for tonight. Bye-bye. And if you're still working with the BBC... <laughs>